What's going on, y'all? Shoe boxing. Just got off work. Excuse my nasty car. I need to clean it up. I got kids, man. I got to go pick them up. They destroy your car. But anyway, let's talk boxing now that I don't have any um, liquor in me and I'm not being, you know, comical. We're going to talk about Sergio Martinez. We're going to get in depth because the last video I did was like like four or five minutes. We're going to get in depth. We're going to talk about Sergio. We're going to talk about Cotto. Now, uh, for those of you who do, who do not know, uh, Sergio was basically uh, destroyed last night. R.I.P. Uh, save, a, save a spot for me up there, uh, Sergio. No, I'm just joking. But, and all you know, everybody that saw the fight, for the most part, seemed shocked. Um, except me. Like, this outcome wasn't... And see, I made my prediction video not even, you know, including... I have totally forgot about Sergio's fucked up knee or whatever. So my video didn't even have that, you know, as part of the equation. So I expected him to go longer, but I expected him to be, for the most part, thoroughly outclassed. And the reason why I thought he would be thoroughly outclassed is because Cotto was the better boxer. I told you guys the short shots were going to do it. Um, the short left hook. So the thing about it is people were, were, see, a lot of people don't know shit about boxing. I hate to say that, but it's the truth. A lot of y'all don't know anything about the amateur ranking. I got friends that, that spar, I mean not spar, but actually box. That went through the amateur shit. This is back before I'd even like boxing. Like I, I grew up with these people since I was kids and shit. And these motherfuckers were going to like ringside tournaments and Golden Gloves. And I was like, fuck it, I might as well go. And I'm like, I'm not finna box. They trying to get me to box. I'm like, this shit don't look fun. You getting beat up and shit. And I didn't become a boxing fan. I came became a boxer fan because of them. If you, for those who don't know, I got a friend that boxes. Um, I have on my channel from time to time, you know. But. I wasn't necessarily a boxing fan, and I've seen so much in boxing. I've seen, I've, I've been to not the, the well, Crunk don't exist anymore, but they built a new one. But I'm talking about the old one, where the first time I seen a professional fighter was Andy Lee. Um, he was sparring. Who was that? Uh, what the fuck is his name? The motherfucker that got beat by Carl Frotch. You know who I'm talking about? The motherfucker that beat Bernard Hopkins twice. Uh, Jermaine Taylor. And I was watching, and I'm like, man. Andy Lee is beating his ass. Like, Andy Lee was beating beating the shit out of Jermaine Taylor. I can't be remember who Jermaine Taylor was getting ready for. I want to say Winky Wright, or it was a southpaw. But um, they had him sparring Andy Lee. And Andy Lee was beating his ass. I mean, like, beating him. And that's when a friend of mine, you know, told me, uh, you know, she was schooling me about fighting and schooling me much more about the sport. And, I, and as me going to the gym, I get to see, it's not uncommon to see lightweights spar junior middleweights or welterweight spar you know middleweights and junior middleweights and super middleweights that's not uncommon in the sport of boxing it's 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 uncommon to you guys but it's not uncommon so a lot of people and how this relates was a lot of people figured Cotto would be too small because he naturally started at 140 and that he Sergio would be too big not knowing that a fighter of Cotto's caliber more than likely often spars bigger guys because the guys his size they can't take it he hurts them. Same with all the elite fighters for the most part. Mayweather doesn't spar with small fighters. He spars with 154 pounders. He spars with, I've heard, I mean, I've heard all the way up to, to, to light heavyweight fighters. He spars with, moves around with. So that's what a lot of people don't realize that that's what happens in the gym. A lot about speed. I knew Sergio would not have the speed edge because again, a lot of, what I, I'm not to jump topics, but how many of you would believe that Marquez is fast? See, you're probably looking like, what the fuck? Marquez is not fast. That's because he's in there with faster fighters. I'm guaranteeing all people that watch YouTube, get your ass in the ring with uh, Marquez and watch Marquez make you look slow as shit. A lot of those fighters at lightweight, that's what you got to take notice of. When you see a fighter, most of the fighters at lightweight and flyweight are fast. These little guys, are, they throwing. That's why they have some, um, some high, I mean, high of uh, punch output. They, these motherfuckers are throwing. They fast. But when you see them against a faster fighter, they look slow. That's what I tell people all the time. You judge speed by speed. You judge power by power. You judge ring IQ by ring IQ. You cannot put a fast fighter in the ring with a slow fighter and gauge their speed. And that's, what, that's what's always been my issue with Manny Pacquiao. People want to say, man, he's so fast. He's so fast. Back in his prime, he's so fast. He's so fast. But he's, put, he's being put in there with much slower fighters. So he looks incredibly fast. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's, what, I, that's what I'm getting at. So 
Marquez is a it's not I'm not saying Marquez is the most the fastest fighter known to man, but Marquez is a fast fighter. He's he's not slow. It's just that Pacquiao's a much faster fighter. It's just that Floyd Mayweather is a much faster fighter. So people thought that Cotto would be the slower fighter. No. He was the faster fighter last night. I knew he would be the faster fighter. People thought, well, Martinez is jab. And I told you the issues with his jab. He keeps his hands too far down. If somebody's fast enough, the thing about it is the middleweights are not that fast. The, the middleweights he's been fighting are not that fast. So they can't capitalize on that. The only thing I thought would be interesting, I figured that as long as the fight goes on, because that's where, usually where the bigger fighter takes his toll and becomes comes on strong after the fifth or sixth round. Because now, you know, that's where they start to fatigue because this guy's bigger. He can take it. Remember the Oscar Bernard Hopkins fight? Oscar was winning the beginning of that fight. Better, Oscar is, is the better fighter. If more fights were, if, if fights were five and six fucking rounds, then shit. It'd be a lot of motherfucking, uh, it'd be a lot of, it'd be a lot of fights that went Oh, shit, I'm trying to drive and pay attention. But anyway, if fights were five and six rounds, it'd be a lot of fucking smaller fighters like Walter Waits fighting super middleweights because all I got is five rounds. It's the 12-round factor. So a lot of people looked at it and was like, oh, he's not going to be able to keep up with his... I, I knew. I knew that that was not going to be an issue in this fight. Cotto is the better fighter. What, what, what tool... What are you blowing at, motherfucker? Light's fucking red. Cotto has every tool that, um, to, that he needs to beat Martinez. What does Martinez possess over Cotto? He doesn't have the better jab. He doesn't have the snappier jab. He doesn't have the better left hook, up top, down low. He doesn't. He doesn't have the better uh, f uh, ring movement, the power. You can be a bigger puncher. There are smaller guys that are bigger punchers, believe it or not. There are some lightweights that probably hit harder than some welterweights. They are bigger punchers. And like Ro uh, Roach said, Cotto is a bigger puncher than Chavez Jr., Chavez Jr., no, not a bigger puncher. He's a better puncher. Chavez is just a bigger puncher, which is which makes sense. He's a better puncher. He puts combinations, he puts punches better, um, better get uh, together than Chavez Jr. Uh, I mean, to me, this fight wasn't too hard. It wasn't a shock. It was shocking to me to see uh, Martinez get dropped three times, which I knew he was going to get dropped at least once. He gets dropped every single fight. Let me see who the fuck this is who was blowing at me. You won't even look me in the eye, you little coward. Don't you hate when motherfuckers you driving, motherfuckers won't even look you in the eye. You was just blowing. Now I look you in the eye, you roll past me, and you want to fucking look the other way and shit. Anyway, what the fuck are you doing? Anyway, just, just, but I mean, it wasn't, a, it was a shock to me to see him get knocked down three, four times, and he looked as helpless as he did. And he was shocked by Kodo's power. Kodo can punch. Why do people think he can't punch? I give, like I said, People have shady and selective memory and don't realize that who has beat Kodo without taking an ass whooping? Who? I can't think of nobody. Maybe Trout. And that's a stylistic mismatch, and I explain why that fight, why. But for the most, Pacquiao, people are sketchy about the Pacquiao-Kodo fight. But Pacquiao took an ass beating. Pacquiao didn't come out that fight unscathed. Floyd got it, got got some lumps too. He knew he was in a war. In fact, I believe, like Floyd said, he was the toughest fight. He, he said a motherfucker can fight. Cotto can fight. Cotto can punch. That's why, to me, I've never questioned Pacquiao's toughness, his opposition, yes, but his toughness because he was getting hit by by Cotto and he was taking it pretty well. Floyd was getting hit by Cotto and he was taking it pretty well. So that means he can you can take a shot. Cotto's not no pushover. Um, where does Martinez go from here? Who knows? But the reality is he's, he's, you know, that knee, I don't know. I don't think, I think the knee caused him to get his ass whooped worse than he would have had the knee not went out on him, if that makes any sense. I think he would have got his ass whooped, period. Um, just like I said, he, I mean, period. Cotto is a combination puncher. If you put him in there with anybody that's a, I, th I, I tend to look at Cotto, Canelo, and Triple G as one and the same. And what I mean by that is they're all boxer punchers. Um, Floyd's more of a purist. You have to be dead on your feet for F Floyd to go for the knockout. I mean, you literally got to be no threat. Those three fighters, if you are in, in if you show them any sign that you are ready to go, they're going to put their foot on the gas and they're going to go for it. So I believe that if had this been Triple G, 
uh, Martinez wouldn't have made it out that first round. Had this been Canelo, he probably wouldn't have made it out of the first or second round. Um, because that's just the type of fighters, you know, those, those they are. They're boxer punchers. Um, where does he go from here? I don't know. But I say retire because at this point, he, I mean, what does he have to prove? What else? I hope he made a good payday. Now, for Cotto, the sky's the limit. Um, this adds to his legacy. He picks up a lineal title. Um, he could take the smart role, which is take a couple, you know, not easy, easy fights, but take an easy fight, make a, maybe a Stevenson, uh, you know, somebody like that. And then um, if I was him, because he, and he, he, there's not going to be a Pacquiao fight. Um, the weight's just too, too, too big of an extreme, and I believe Cotto beats Pacquiao, probably knock him out. If, 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 if I truly believe if Cotto can come in at his best, Listen to the words I use, at his best, meaning the best weight he feels comfortable at, let's say 154, and, and Pacquiao comes in this fight at what he considers his best at the moment, which is, let's say he feels his best is 147, Cotto stops Pacquiao. The only way Pacquiao makes the fight anywhere interesting or anywhere close is if you drain, Pac you drain Cotto. You make Cotto come down to 150 to where he can't be at his best. To, to me, but, but your best is, sta is stagnant. It's, I mean, it's, 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 it's not as stagnant as people think. Your best today, this year could be 155. To next year, it could be 160. It's not like people seem to think, oh, Cotto's best is 147. That might have been his best weight where he was dominant, but that's not his best weight where he, could, where he feels comfortable at the moment. And I truly believe at the moment, if you put Cotto at his best, which is probably 154, he beats the shit out of Pacquiao. Um, so don't even suggest that fight. But what I really, I want to see is I want to see Cotto for Canelo. I think that fight is very interesting. I really don't even know who wins that. I, I, I've said it throughout the, the, the forums and YouTube community. I really want to see that fight. Um, stylistic, mis stylistic mismatch between Cotto and Lara. It's going to be an ugly fight. I really don't want to see that fight. Um, but, yeah, I really, really want to see Cotto versus Canelo. That's the fight that I want. That's the fight that I want to see. Uh, or maybe Triple G, maybe. Hmm, I don't know. I think Triple G is probably a little bit too big. He's basically Cotto 2.0 at, at 160. Um, it'll probably be too big for him. But that's why I see it. Like, how do y'all think, you know, the, 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 the excuses are coming in strong with this. Oh, his knee and all of this and all of this. And I don't, I'm, answer me this. Who has Martinez fought that's better? Who has Martinez beat? Even when you consider him in his prime, because people treat prime like it's a form of Super Saiyan or some shit like, oh, when he was a Super Saiyan. Who, I, that's all I'm asking. Just who in his prime did he beat that is good? That's Cotto. Not Williams. Not Sergi Denjuric. Not, I mean, not any Murray, Murray. None of those guys. They don't move as good. They don't have as much power. They don't, they don't, they don't have as, the skill. Who? So rate, comment, subscribe. True boxing. I'm out. It was a good fight. I truly believe, you know, it, like I said, it, it brings intrigue to who Mayweather also fights before I get out of here. Um, go for that sixth title in six divisions. Go for that third lineal title. Be three lineal titles at the same time. He's not signed to um, top rank. He works with them on an individual basis from my understanding. So he's not. He's a free agent. So, I mean, that fight is interesting. Somebody also suggests, I think, Aram, uh, Cotto versus Bradley. Get out of here. Come on now. Cotto beats the shit out of Bradley. Even oh, even if we could get a time machine and get a 147-pound uh, version of Cotto against the 147-pound of Bradley that fought Pacquiao the first, second, the market, whatever. Styles make fights. And Cotto would put them hands on Bradley. So rate, comment, subscribe. I'm out.